Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. What do I do first thing in the morning? What do I do when I wake up? Check out all my books on audible.com. Well, what you put into your body when you first wake up is of great importance um, because this is the time you haven't been eating all night. You know, you haven't been, um, you know, sitting there with meal after meal. I mean, hopefully you've slept seven or eight hours. Getting good sleep is, is very, very important, obviously. And, um, but what are you going to do first thing? Well, uh, you see people wake up in the morning and they reach for, you know, a Coke, uh, coffee, uh, you know, food. They want to eat. They just get up and eat. Um, you, the, well, I get up in the morning, I drink a big tall glass of water, eight ounces, and then I have another one. And so I don't eat anything until about noon. So, and I never eat anything until I've had, I drank at least a half a gallon of water. Um, there's incredible benefits to drinking uh, water on an empty stomach and of course alkaline ionized water is by far the best nothing comes close to drinking that first thing in the morning I wake up to this powerful antioxidant hydrating me extremely well it you know hydrates my brain wakes me up um, you know you can splash a little bit of it in your face for the acid water it just feels great it has such a cleansing effect but that's the first thing I do. Now, quite often what I'll do, maybe once or twice a week, is take some liquid angstrom silver. Take uh, just a capful and because uh, your, your blood's clear. So this will keep you clear of infectious agents, viruses, bacteria, yeast mold, fungus, better than anything else. So you take that, hold it in your mouth as long as possible. So I'll do that, even as healthy as I am, a couple times a week. Okay? And that clears the blood. It gets any kind of bacteria out there. I, you know, I just, I never get a cold or flu or any of that stuff. I haven't, couldn't, last time I was sick was with meningitis, and that led to my book on, uh, on silver. I realized the power of, of silver. Uh, it didn't happen for anything, for, for no reason at all, I can tell you that. So that's what you should be doing when you wake up. Don't start eating food. Don't start drinking anything other than water. And that's what I do, and this is the way I live, and I've lived this way for many, many years now. Um, I mean, I, I don't have much of an appetite in the morning, but uh, I don't usually, as I said, I don't eat until noon, sometimes 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is your best time to keep, um, you know, really fasting and clearing the body. Now, I do take minerals. Uh, I have my full-spectrum mineral here. It's got 26 different minerals. That That's not food. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that. I, I take humic acid, liquid humic acid, um, which is kind of a way to mineralize the body. I also take fulvic acid, um, liquid, and there's powder. Um, so you can take those things. You could take some uh, probiotics. Uh, but once I, the one thing I do do, <clears throat> I drink water and I always take systemic enzymes. And the two I take every single day, I take them right before I go to bed as well, because again, my stomach's empty. You've got to take these on an empty stomach. Natokinase and serpeptase. These are two systemic enzymes. Uh, natokinase is quite amazing stuff. Um, it comes from natto. Uh, it lowers blood pressure. It's great for the lungs. It takes fibrin from the body. Fibrin is what causes blood clots. So if you have blood clots, it's really good at reducing those. Again, lowering blood pressure. A natural, it'll, natural blood pressure reduction. I wouldn't take blood pressure medication if my life depended on it. I, I just, there's no way you, I would ever take that stuff. Um, there's poison. It just is poison. Um, so I take my systemic enzymes and I stay mineralized and that's about it. So because they're inert, you don't have to worry about eating anything. You don't want to put anything in your body you're going to have to digest. That's food. Stay away from food. Because fasting, not eating, is the healthiest thing you can do for yourself. So I do that every day. I mean, I have at least about a 12 to 15 hour fast every day. I eat at night, I'm done, and then I don't eat the next day to at least 12 hours, sometimes 15 hours. And then I eat raw fruits and vegetables. That's how I stay young, that's how I stay energetic, that's how I feel great every single day. That's what I do. But that's how I wake up. Water, and I hit the silver a couple times a week. Another one you can take, I got here bismuth. Um, that one you take and swallow, that'll kill all the, di the, all the infectious agents in your stomach. In particular, H. pylori, the bacteria causes uh, stomach ulcers. And um, but and then people say, well, you've destroyed all your 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 microbiome, uh, your your all your your delicate you know stuff. You just re take more probiotics. I mean, probiotics come in and they go, and they don't always stay in the body. 
Yeah, they should get in there and cultivate. That's what you really want. But um, unless you're really clean, they're not going to do that very well. And what that does is it helps keep down the bad bacteria. So, um, and it's very important, probiotics. I mean, I'm very, very big on probiotics. It's uh, That's component number four. Probiotics and prebiotics, fermented foods are fantastic. They're really easy to ferment foods. Water, water and salt, that's all you really need. <clears throat> Let it sit there for a couple days and you got a fermented food and they're f incredibly healthy. Um, growing sprouts, that's an, just as an aside, that's another incredibly cheap, cheap, cheap thing to do and super healthy. Sprouts are super healthy. That's how I start my day. I start that way every single day. I've been doing it for many, many years now. Um, and let me tell you something, to get up and eat something is a big mistake. Drink water, clear yourself out, I mean, drinking water in an empty stomach just does miraculous things for your health. I mean, especially if you're sick, you don't feel good, you're not on top of things, you've got a cold, a flu, or whatever, stop eating. It's the worst thing. You go to the hospital, what do they do? They feed you. Why do they feed you? Because they're idiots. They're buffoons. They're in the dark ages in the hospitals, period. I, you know, I'm just, I'm so tired of their, their failures, and then they pretend like, well, you know, wh what else have you got? You're going to go to your berries or something? They're good in medical emergencies, and then we're done. They, they don't know anything about health or, you know, epidemics or what to do for them, and their answer for everything, as you well know, is to take something and stick it in your arm, and then you'll be healthy. Sure. How about just sticking good food and water in your mouth? start there and then uh, you build up something that we call an immune system and if you listen to these people that are out there the talking heads and the the experts okay and that know so much about health they're, they're projecting what's gonna happen the, the two words I've never heard out of any of their mouths ever and all this crap that's gone on for the last two years is immune system okay we heard about here herd immunity and this stuff but immune system Natural immunity? No, they don't. They then that doesn't exist to them. That's the medical world. If you want to depend on the medical establishment and the medical world to save you when you get old, so you won't be, you won't die a sick old person. Uh, good luck with that, because um, they don't care and um, they don't know what they're doing. So you wake up in the morning with water, a little bit of silver here and there. Uh, you could take some bismuth minerals, stay mineralized. You can be a healthy person. You can be so much healthier that if you're not doing these habits now, you develop them, you'll be incredibly healthy. Dr. Bob, see you next time. Hey folks, check out all my books on Amazon.com. Uh, I've written seven books now, uh, but this one's on Audible, Silver, the Miracle Mineral, End of Infectious Disease, uh, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, that's on Audible. And then my most popular book, I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years, never promoted it, never marketed it. It is the Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. Third edition, I revamped the whole thing. It's on Audible too. So those are all read by the author's voice, my voice, and I hope you like them.